it's your girl Tasha Burrell and I'm back with another video so today we're going to do my perfume collection that I have right now um we really don't have any designer scents we have on the lower end spectrum the Victoria's Secrets the celebrity created inspired scents so that's what we're going with. I'm gonna show y'all my collection of my faves that I have currently. I am working on going more higher end luxury scents, but I ain't there yet. <laughs> but I do know that some, the YouTubers are talking about Dossier with the dupes to some of the higher end scents. I think that I'm gonna order some of them to smell them and see if I like them. And if I do, then I'm gonna jump on the bandwagon of getting the higher luxury incense. Besides me going into the stores and smelling them. Like the Gucci Guilty for women and men, it's a must. It's a go for me. I bought the Gucci Guilty men for my honey years ago. He loves it. I love that smell of him. So um yeah, but let's get into the ones that I have currently right now. So I'm gonna bend down. I put them all in the box, y'all. Yeah. So, excuse me. And all that good stuff. So I'll be bending back and forth. It's not like I don't need to do a crunch or something right now. So, you yeah. know. Let's get into it. Ooh. Excuse this uh, white shawl on my couch. Well, let's get into it. Who we going with first? So we're going with the original Nicki Minaj. Um, this is the little bottle. I had the big one. I had like three of these little ones and two of the big ones. Um, I love it. It smells so good. It's still a a, a hidden popping scent. So yeah, Nicki, keep doing your thing. It smells good. Y'all, if y'all don't like this, I don't know what's wrong with you. It's, it's a fit. It's a fan favorite, okay? Just know that. So, I like that Nikki sit. I got the big one of the different one. This is the Majesty by Nikki Minaj. So, I have a whole nother box of this. Big one. And I love it. it. Smells so good. These, you can find these in Ross and Burlington and get them for a good deal. I want to say I spent twenty dollars on this this big one, so yeah, I definitely recommend it. Recommend it. Yeah, get you, get you some Nikki scents, honey. Uh, like I told you, got the big one. <laughs> yeah, I love her. I guess I'm gonna keep doing it every time I open one to smell it. But yeah, she. You know how they have summer and fall scents? I don't know what you would call this. I definitely say both of them are a going out scent for me because if I'm going out somewhere, I spray them because I like to smell good. So when I'm going out, because when I put spray them, my boys will be like, where you going? Where you going? You got the perfume on, smelling good. Where the hell you going? So. Yeah, definitely a going out scent. My next one, another celebrity inspired scent, is the Beeps, Justin Bieber. This one, this is not Girlfriend. Girlfriend comes in a purple bottle. And I have that one too in the back. I don't know why I don't have it in my box, but I got that one too. So I got both the Justin Bieber suits. But this one, I don't know if this is regular Justin Bieber. Or what, but this is just a beaver. And this smells so good. I had this for a while. And I need to buy some more. I need to order some more. I need to go to Russell Brunson and find some more of these. Because I love this scent. My niece loves this scent too. Spray it. And she loves the scent to girlfriend too. I found a big girlfriend bottle. But I need to find a bigger one of this one. And I found the big girlfriend bottle when I went to Memphis with Johnny. I said, oh, I'm buying this because it smells good. He's like, you always buying shit. We came here for underwear and shit. Basic stuff. 
And you buying perfume and shit. I have money, I can spend it. Yeah, like I asked you to buy it for me. He ended up buying it for me, y'all. And he sent his car to pay for everything. So. <laughs> that might have been why he was complaining. Because he knew he was about to buy it. But yeah. It was $20. I got it for a good deal. When I told him to look it up online, how much it originally cost, because I opened it. But yeah. Um, what's my next scent? I think I'm just doing perfumes in this video. So, yeah. Let's get this out of This is Riri. This is Rihanna Rebel, I think. It's the black one. This one, I don't too much care for this. This is a, I want to say more, a more mature scent. I, you could say I gave this to my mom, but she never just took it. She would just come in my room and whatever person she want to wear, she'll spray it. But I said, mom, you can add that one because I don't really like it. So I'm on my mature scent. And even though I'm 36, I used to didn't even couldn't stand the smell like of this, right? Like smelling it right now, but it's okay. It's just not for me. It's it's definitely a mature scent, but I like the bottle. It fucks with my girl Riri, so I bought it. And where did I, I was gifted this? My friend Mika gifted me this for my birthday. It was cute, and you see, I mean, I tried it out, and it just wasn't for me. But it's used a little bit because my mom used it, so yeah, I like it for decoration. Um, I didn't get the nude or red or, or is the red one rebel nude is the nudie pink one I don't know which one that is she got she had three cents so yeah I didn't get the other ones um maybe I will get them just to have to add it to the collection but I like to wear my perfumes and I just have to sit there and just be like oh you know I got it just support her but I don't know we'll see um but yeah that's another celebrity inspired scent so what's that four justin riri nikki two of nikki's yes yeah, so that's three celebs um let's go to the next celeb scent. so y'all know i love ariana grande so i got her damn scent this is ari by ariana grande baby and i wore this y'all i i wore this and i love it it smells so good i put it back in the box Look at this. Look at this little beautiful thing. And I'm going to go look for some more of these because where did I buy this shit from? Did I buy it from Alta? I think I bought it from Alta. No, I think I smelled it at Alta and I think I bought it. No, I got this one from Alta. But I think I saw it in TJ Maxx. So I'm going to go buy some more of this because I love this fucking scent. I don't know if it's a familiar scent. Let me smell it. I want to say it kind of smells like my Nikki. I think it might have some of the similarity undertones of the Nikki, but it doesn't smell exactly like it. But baby, are y'all grande? Baby! Sweet hey! Yes, ma'am. Ari. Putting it back in the box. That smells so damn good, y'all. Y'all don't understand. Y'all don't understand how good it smells. And you know what? I watch one of my favorite YouTubers, Honey Rose. Baby, she is the perfume girl. She done had her granny, her best friend from college, smell the Ariana Grande Cloud. And I'm going to go buy the Ariana Grande Cloud. Cause I remember smelling it and often said this motherfucker shit smells so motherfucking good. But I was looking for a gift set. Cause I like, if I'm buying stuff from Alta or department store, I want the gift set because it come with the big, the big, the regular size bottle, the mini one and the lotion. Cause you know, you can put the lotion on, not for ash, but for the scent and spray a little perfume on you. And that's how you do it. And that's how you make your shit stretch and last. But I'm going to go get the Ariana Grande Cloud. 
And I might get it this weekend because I'm going to tell Johnny to bring me to go buy it. So that's exactly what I'm going to go do. I'm going to go to Ulta. Yeah, I'm going to go to Ulta and buy that. No, I It's, uh, but Ari, baby, if you don't sing uh, or go on tour again, baby, your perfume should keep you afloat. So, yeah, your perfume should keep you afloat. <coughs> Celebrities are smart. If you got the right PRT, you're going to invest in other stuff. Justin did a perfume, and he's a dude, and he did women's perfume because we spent money. Nikki, we knew she was going to do that. She dabbed in the clothes. Her line was in fucking Kmart. Affordable as fuck. She's smart. She did perfume, and she got had a deal with the mixed streak, so Nikki ain't far from done. But Nikki, you uh, you come out with some more perfumes, so. Because them two right there, they's a hit. Uh, Ari, you can come out with some more perfumes too. You you good at that? So I'm not doing no trip. But yeah. Um, let me see if I have any more celebrity inspired scents. I don't have any more celebrity inspired scents, but we're gonna go to a major line. Now, Riri was sponsored by Clinique. This is Clinique Happy. This is a fresh during the day scent and I love it I've been having this for a while I just love it it's definitely a fresh during the day scent so um this is definitely a daytime scent for me daytime going in to the evening if you're already out it'll work um I got this from Ulta so yeah I got a gift set see I had a lotion already Use the little one up. I used to keep that in the damn bag. One of my favorites. It's, it's a fan favorite. Next, we're going to another line. Just a couture. This is a throwback, honey. This is Viva La Juicy. I love it. Anything juicy, couture. Viva La Juicy, my favorite. Even the other one. I think it's Viva La Glam Juicy. That's more of a real cologne -y. Like, it can really pass as unisex. Um, that other one. And I had it. And I don't know. I know I didn't use it all. So I don't know if my sister took my shit from me. Because she a little crap though. Like taking my shit. Or if my mom took it. I'm not going to trick my mom took it. And used the shit up. But. I bought that one and this one at the same time. Um, a perfume store um, in Dallas. I had bought it from there. But you can get this anywhere. You can get it Alta. I want to say they might sell these in TJ Maxx. I think I saw it in TJ Maxx. Probably Burlington and Ross. You might have to look for it. But definitely Alta. Because Juicy is a major brand. So, yeah. My next one. Now this, I've been wearing this. I've been loving this since high school. Lucky you, lucky brand, lucky you. Bye bye. High school. One of my one of my friends, Jennifer. She was wearing this. I said, "What are you wearing? It smells so freaking good. You smell so good." And she's like, "It's lucky you. What lucky brand?" I told my mom. She, uh, we went to Dillard's and she bought it for me. See, but this one, I got it for Ross. And guess what? I got it for how much? $13. $12.99 sticker on here. And, but, I'm gonna tell you what's fucked up, y'all. I had a bottle that was bigger than this. It was, I paid $20 for it. Brought it to me, brought it with me to Memphis and left that shit in the hotel. When I got home and realized it wasn't in my makeup bag, I said, Johnny, I left my fucking lucky you brand new in the hotel room in Memphis. And I had to go buy me another one. And this ain't even the biggest bottle. So I'm still kind of salty about that. So somebody got some brand new perfume. Because I only use like two sprays out of it, literally. So somebody got some brand new perfume. Oh my God. 
Uh, Memphis Hotel. What hotel was we in? I think it's the Double Tree downtown Memphis. Uh, little housekeeper lady. I hope you enjoy that scent. That's your tip. I hope you enjoy that scent. Even if you don't like it, your daughter might like it. But you should like it. It's definitely a, it's an everyday uh, scent. School, out and about. Definitely an everyday scent. Love it. This is a throwback. This is since high school, baby. This. Uh, this. My next perfume. So now we're getting into Vicky's Secret. Um, this one is called Scandalous. I done lost the cap, the top to it. It's in my room somewhere. I think it's on the floor. Baby, Scandalous. Do you hear me? Woo, I love this. This is, this is, this is evening nighttime scent. Baby, if you going on a date with your man. Victoria's Secret is always infamous for having some good sense. I say, this is how I do it. Matthew Body Works is more childish, kiddish. Victoria's Secret is like a grown man. And I love it. They perfumes and stuff, when they have their semi-annual sales, I definitely go and I stock up on shit like body misses and perfumes and stuff. I stock up on that shit with them because I fucking love it. Yeah. My next Vicky Secret perfume is Wow uh, Victoria's Secret Bombshell Wildflower. I can see that. This, and y'all can tell I love fucking this one. And when did I buy this? Baby, I was wearing this every day, all day. I didn't give a fuck. Because this. Did I buy it last year? Yeah, I bought it around my birthday last year. So, it's a year old. And baby, I've been wearing the fuck. I will wear this all day. Every time I take a shower, get ready to go somewhere, kept it in my purse. Wildflower. Need to get some more wildflower. But I know that it's not on sale no more. <laughs> But this was on sale and I got this for $25 every choice. So yeah. That one is a hit. H I T. Hit that. Okay? And I got another one. And I don't know, do y'all want me to put my body mist in here too? Yeah. For sure, I'll do a separate video on body mist. Yeah, I'll probably do a separate video on body mist. So, I have one more perfume, and it's in the back, in my purse, and I need to take it out of there. I'm going to go get it. So, y'all hold on real quick. Okay. All right, I'm back, y'all. So, the next scent from Victoria's Secret is called Bombshells in the Bloom. It's the box. I just got this recently on the uh, <clears throat> the recent semi-annual sale. I will be going back when they have the next one in the winter. So yeah, this is what the bottle looks like. This is how the Victoria's Secret um, caps come on all the perfumes. So like, with the wildflower had like a cap like that. But y'all know my hood ass. I always lose and stuff because I be in a hurry spraying stuff and then chunk it down somewhere. I know, horrible. This one. Definitely flowery, but like in a good, a good way, like a good flowery. Like it smells so freaking good. Like so freaking good. I want to say $29.99. It was on sale. And this is the 1.7 fluid ounce. So, it's a pretty decent size. This is 1.72, but I think the shape of the bottle is a little bit different. This one looks bigger. This is, looks like the size of my seduction, but yeah. 
this right here yeah love that love that so much i think i got it in a body mist too yep johnny loved this on me he smelled it and then he sprayed it, and then he, then he sprayed it on me and then he's like yeah that's it's your chemistry so so i'm just like he's like yeah i'm getting that for you because he he buy a lot of my shit y'all now my last perfume out of my actual perfume collection is the Victoria's Secret Bombshell Summer. It's not a box look, y'all. Sorry if it's a glitter. And it's a 1.7. Now, these are definitely summer vibe scents. Spring summer vibe scents. But you know me, I don't give a fuck. I will wear any scent year round if I want to. This, this, this is how the bottle look. Top, clear. Oh, yeah. This is like, it has like a citrusy, a citrusy scent to it. But this shit right here, y'all, this shit right here smells so fucking good. If y'all don't get anything out this haul, this one. This one. And it might be seasonal because it says bomb, Victoria's Secret Bombshell Summer. So it might be seasonal. Yeah, my ass might need to go get another box. I'm sure in here. These motherfuckers might go buy it. Yeah. But yeah. And I have some minis. That I forgot to give my best friend because it's one of her birthday gifts. I'll be dropping it out to her Saturday when I see her. Um, but I have Seduction. I had this one. This one is the original bombshell. Had that one ran out. Um, and I have Intense. I think I had Intense before too. So I don't have these in big bottles in my collections currently because... I had them in the past. No, I never had Intense, but I like Intense. I had a small bottle of Intense before. But I had the original bombshell, of course. This is the original. Uh, read out of that one a long time ago. Need to get it. And I think I'm going to buy the Intense, too. Just have it to the collection. But, Lachey, these are yours. I forgot to put it in your gift bag with your candle. But these are yours, sweetie. So, um, yeah. I'm going to leave this out, but yeah. Um, that is my actual perfume collection um again no luxury high end scents no baccarat no ysl you know no gucci you know none of that but i am gonna start buying it gucci may be my first one that i purchase um i know dolce gabbana smells really good um who else there was somebody else that was a high end that I loved the freaking smell. Was it the YSL one? I think so. I think it was the YSL. She smells so fucking good. But yeah, that's my collection right now. So we're going to say this is 2021 perfume collection currently. Um, summer 2021. Currently. It may be different in, in, in the fall and the winter and I may do another actual perfume haul of my new perfume scents that I get. So fall and winter. Yeah. Because I'll have another semi in your stuff so I'm making some more stuff. So, but I'm going to be, uh, I'm going to have to go to the department store to get the other stuff. So I'm going to be, y'all um, recommending y'all recommendations down below of a uh, perfume or cologne that I should get either for myself or my man. Um, and I'll go smell them and then if we like them, we'll buy them. We're starting to really get into perfumes and colognes, shopping again. We stopped for a little bit. We get on other shit. We was on restaurants, a lot of eating out and stuff and then COVID hit and it was like, ah. so we're starting to get back into buying certain things. Um, and what else? But yeah, y'all put y'all recommendations down below. 
And if y'all want to try any of my recommendations, and y'all do go buy any of my recommendations, um, let me know. Y'all let me know. Be like, hey, I was in Ross, and I saw such and such that you recommended, and I bought it, and I liked it. But um, this is for sure in Alta. Juicy is for sure in Alta. Who else is for sure? Clinique Happy is for sure in Alta. I went to Alta recently and saw that. And um, Seduction, still in Victoria's Secret. This is currently in Victoria's Secret. And the Bloom is still currently in Victoria's Secret. <laughs> so yeah, y'all let me know. Y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Please give my video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I'm going to stop with all the rambling. And y'all, please, 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 let me know y'all recommendations. Y'all can um <clears throat> hit me on my Instagram at Toshpos2003. You can hit me on Snap at Tasha Pearl. You can hit me on Twitter at Love Tosh Posh. I always be trying to remember all my socials. If y'all go to my damn Instagram, <laughs> oh, it'll link you to all my social medias that I be on. But uh, definitely be on Instagram. I have two Instagrams. I have Tosh Pearl's Life and I have Tosh Posh 2003. Um, but Tosh Posh 2003 is my main Instagram um, that I be on all the time. And then my Twitter. So if you want to hit me up, follow me. Leave a message. Definitely follow me on Twitter. Interact with me. Leave a comment below. You can even inbox me if you need to inbox me. Yeah, so thank you guys again for watching. And I'm going to do a haul on my body mist scent. My current ones that I have now. Because, yeah. I I had so many Bath and Body Works and Victoria's Secret body scents that I had to go on a Bath and Body Works and nobody. And start. I had to use the majority of my shit up. Before I even went to the semi-annual sale this year. It's been years. I had that much stuff. So, yeah. We're going to re-up again. And that's going to be my next video. So, I will have the same thing on. So, I don't want to hear shit. Yeah. Okay, but thanks for watching again. Bye.